GIS or any other kind of methods-based uh, approach to studying, you want to show the uh, the workflow that you've taken. And a lot of times people like doing these processes with little arrows. And one thing that's really cool is that with the uh, Microsoft uh, Office package, and you can do this in Word as well, you can insert in these uh, workflows very easily instead of trying to fiddle around and make them yourself. It's called Smart Art. And so if you click on the Smart Art tab of the ribbon, um, and you'll see the same kind of thing in the PC version as well. There's these processes, and if you click on process, for example, you'll have all these options here for different arrows. Um, and what's nice about this is if you click on, like, say, for example, this basic Chevron process, you can have here um, your different process that you took or your methods that you took in, in calculating or doing your GIS work. So, I don't know, let's do a very simple example of calculating an NDBI. Uh, maybe you can say, um, you know, um, acquire or export uh, infrared and red band. And then the next step that you would have done was um, apply uh, NDVI formula with a uh, raster calculator. And then your next step would be um, display data set with uh, color, with um, color palette. I don't know, I'm just making something up right now, but basically you can do this with any kind of GIS process. But let's say there was more than one step within a subset, um, you can always just hit enter here and then tab, and it's going to let you add things at the bottom of the art. And so now I can say like export if red, red band, maybe I can say exported then to a TIFF format. Um, you know, put it in TIFF format. I don't know. Something like that. And then they say for the calculator, if you wanted to maybe include the NDVI formula, you can do that. You can say IR minus R divided by IR plus R. But what's really cool is that once you have this made, um, you can do things like, uh, of course, play with the different colors, options, and so forth. But if you switch it to a different process, it's automatically going to change it. Um, so we can say, oh, I want to do this one instead. Or I want to change it over to uh, this style. And it's going to have this kind of a different uh, format. And you can choose whichever one's the most interesting for you. But anyways, once you have this made, um, what you can do is um, copy it. Um, edit copy and once it's copy you can uh, just paste it into your maps and arc map um, you might want to do paste special and paste it as an image so it doesn't paste in as a uh, as a graphic uh, as, a, as some kind of office graphic um, another option of course is that you can always screenshot what's going on here to paste it into your uh, images